I'm going to demonstrate how to do Métis.art in your classroom, inspired by Christy Belcourt and Pointillism. Pointillism is a technique of painting in which small, distinct dots of colour are applied in patterns to form an image. Christy Belcourt, one of Canada's most popular Métis artists, has painted many popular artworks that are inspired by Pointillism. Additionally, her work is inspired by Métis beadwork, which includes symmetry and beautiful, bold colours. She now inspires other artists, particularly those of Métis descent, to paint in a similar way, coining the term Métis dot art. Enough chit chat, let's get started. The materials you'll need, acrylic paint, a paint tray, black paper, wooden doweling or q-tips, and water. To begin, have your students trace their pattern onto a piece of paper with a sharp pencil. This is an opportunity to bring math into the arts education classroom as you discuss symmetry in Métis beadwork and what this means to the Métis people. Next, have your students dip their wooden doweling into the paint colour of their choice and trace it along the lines that they've drawn. Students can put the dots as close or as far apart from each other as they like. This project is likely to take three periods, one to discuss pointillism, Christy Belcourt and the colours she uses in her artwork, as well as her style, another to begin the work by tracing or choosing their pattern, and then lastly to complete their work. To assess this art project, I would look at the student's use of technique, the effort that they put in, the materials used, as well as their originality. This art project is great for having students connect to Métis culture in a very tactile way. They are also learning about an influential Métis individual and her contributions to Canada. One of the best parts about this project are the differentiation possibilities. You could have students try using different materials like Q-tips or the end of a crayon to create different sized dots, or even have them try filling up the whole sheet of paper instead of one image in the middle. Also, you could use art materials that you have on hand. So if you don't have black paper, you could use plain paper. If you don't have acrylic paint, you could use watercolor or even markers to create the dots. You can even adapt this art project for younger students as well. Use bingo dabbers to help students grow in their fine motor skills while teaching about symmetry and bringing the beautiful Métis culture to the classroom.